Hi there. This is Anub. Today we are going to talk about Azure AD self service password reset options. What is the process to enable it from the server side? What are the SSPR core components? How you can set up the policy from Azure AD, Intra Admin Center? What does the admin experience? What are the configurations that admin can do from Intra Admin Center? And what is the end user experience? How do they register with the service? And then how do they reset or change their password? We'll see all those details in this video along with the architecture diagrams of SSPR. So don't skip the video let's go ahead and check this out let's quickly look into azure ad self service password reset options in this video there are three key pillars or points which i want to concentrate on this video enable azure ad self service password reset and the licensing requirements we'll quickly look into the architecture of azure ad self service password reset and then we will see how this can be enabled and we'll see the demo from end user side what does azure ad self service password reset sspr is nothing but self service password reset this is giving end user uses additional feature to change or reset their password with no administrator or help desk involvement so this is going to help organizations to reduce the cost also giving self service experience for the end users as well as empowering them let's quickly look into sspr core store this is the core store which we are talking about let's quickly check into the details of this it provides localization of the content content of the website so depending on the language german dutch french any other language which you can specify in the policy and it will check whether the user account is valid or not what organization does this user belong to and then it will also check whether the password is managed from the cloud or on prem let's go to the next slide let's look into prerequisites and license requirements for this to enable this policy from Azure AD you need to have global administrator or authentication policy administrator privileges this is the one which i was talking about if you have this privilege if your admin has this privilege then he can enable sspr for your organization and then licensing requirement is very important to understand at least you need to have azure ad premium p1 or p2 license ems license comes with azure ad p1 or p2 and even microsoft enterprise or business license comes with p1 or p2 and from end user perspective this is the url they need to use to reset or change the password this is the shorter version of the url sspr and the full version is password reset.microsoftonline.com hopefully this is going to change soon to cloud as we discussed in one of our posts I will link that post to the description of the video. Now let's go to the next slide. This is the high level architecture that Microsoft provided in their documentation. Over here you can see send request for self service password reset. This is where user is sending a request to self service password reset service in the cloud in Azure Active Directory. And then second step is SSPR configuration will be validated by core store service. That is the arrow over here. And then it goes to the third third step as you can see over here authenticate authorized request per policy so it will validate against the policy which you have configured we'll see the policy details in a bit in the demo and it will authenticate after the authentication user will send new password to ssps service and that is the fourth step and then fifth step is the cloud password protection checks whether the password is complex enough or whether the password is commonly use password easily guessable password etc etc then depending on that it will accept the password and these are the other parts if you are managing the passwords from on prem these are the parts related to that it goes back to domain controller as you can see over here and then evaluate on
ऑन प्रम पासवर्ड पॉलिसी एज एंड रीसेट द पासवर्ड इन एक्टिव डायरेक्टरी एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा दिस इज अ वेरी हाई लेवल आर्किटेक्चर व्यू फ्लो चार्ट ऑफ सेल्फ सर्विस पासवर्ड रीसेट लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड दिस इज अनदर व्यू वेर यू कैन सी पासवर्ड मैनेजमेंट ऑन प्रेमिस प्रोटेक्शन सम ऑफ द सर्विसेस आर स्टिल क्लाउड एस यू कैन सी दिस वन इज क्लाउड एंड मेन सर्विसेस आर ओवर हियर इट इज पार्ट ऑफ एज एक्टिव डायरेक्टरी डोमेन सर्विसेस एंड इट इज सेवन स्टेप्स एस यू कैन सी ओवर हियर नॉट गोइंग टू कवर द एंटेयर फ्लो ओवर हियर यू कैन पोस्ट द वीडियो एंड चेक दिस आउट एंड आई विल एड मोर डिटेल्स इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द वीडियो सो डू चेक दैट आउट लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड इन द डेमो वाट वी आर गोइंग टू सी इज Azure AD portal where we will set up the policy for password reset and then we will look into end user experience how to register how to reset the password etc etc so this is the end user side of things using password reset dot microsoft online dot com it is asking to enter the username i am entering username and it is asking to enter the characters in the picture click on next this is end user side of things clicked on next and and it says we are sorry we cannot reset your own password because password reset isn't properly set for your organization now it is asking to contact your administrator enable this password reset option for the end users so this is the default experience if you have not enabled password reset sspr now let's head over to azure active directory and check how we can do this this is azure active directory portal microsoft entra admin center and and under this you would be able to see password reset option if you expand protect and secure you can see password reset option over here click on that it will give you password reset properties page now the self service password reset is enabled to none that means it is not enabled you have two options over here one is selected list of users or all users all users is straightforward you just need to click on this all and then save i'm not going to do that i am going to go with selected users that is what normally most of the organization will do i have clicked on selected users over here and then there is option to click on this hyperlink if you click on the hyperlink you will get the azure active directory group listing i have created a specific group for enabling the password reset for some of the users only one user in this scenario so i am going to select this azure active directory group and click on select button over here now Now, the group is selected as you can see over here hdmd password reset group 1 is selected i have an option to save this settings once you save password reset will be enabled for the users in this particular group okay let's save it initially it got failed but successfully saved now let's go to authentication methods and the configuration part of the policies you can say number of methods required to reset one any one of these methods email mobile phone etc etc or you can select two if you want more security you can select two then minimum two methods should be used at the time of password reset so i am going to go with one at the moment for this demo and if you hover over this i button you would be able to see the details and registration how do you want your users to register require users to register when sign in in the number of days before users are asked to reconfirm their authentication information 180 days if you are using the service after 180 days then you need to reauthenticate and reconfirm and you can change it if you want as you can see the maximum date allowed to put in over here is 730 but i am going to go with the default one and notification options notify users on password reset yeah, that's a good one notify admins when admins reset the password you can enable this also if you want to have more security it is depending on your or security policies within your organization and then customization option is there you can put your own help desk link over here if you want and you can say hdmd you can customize that that option is also there to customize the help desk link and then on prem integration for going there you need to save this because we have changed it okay it is saving now okay it got saved now let's
let's go to on-prem integration i don't have any on-prem system let's go to administrator policy this is a review of the configurations self-service reset enabled yes number of methods required to reset we kept as one we can configure two also if you want methods available to administrators email mobile mobile phone mobile app code etc and then there are audit logs if you want to check audit logs and you can see if there is any password reset initiated etc etc over here if you click on that you can see the failure what failed when it got failed etc usage and insight dashboard kind of information you can get it over here 76 of your organization isn't capable for this 88 of organization isn't capable users capable of self-service password reset none at the moment this is the registration information and then go to a user usage go to usage and check what is over there that's seven days you can see all the graphs over here single factor authentication multi-factor authentication used within the organization so this is very useful information now since we have enabled this let's head over to user portal and check enter the username as we did for the last time and enter the code from the picture click on next then we will see what is coming it says you cannot reset on password because you have not registered this is different error message than the first one register for your self-service reset click on the link which is available over there that will take you to the microsoft documentation page and in the microsoft documentation page you can see open web browser on your device and go to security info page that is where you need to add additional security information you need to log in with your username and password and then okay now it says your organization requires additional security information follow the prompts to download setup microsoft authenticator i have installed authenticator application on my phone now i'm going to click on next this is method one of two first you need to download microsoft authenticator application from your phone i did that and then you can click on next button over here if you want to use some other authenticator that is also possible you can check that out over here but i'm not going to cover that click on next now it is asking to add a work or school account on my authenticator so i'm going to add one account to set up the account you can use scan option open the microsoft authenticator app and scan this image to add the account automatically to microsoft authenticator once added click on the next button on the mobile i can see this particular account is added so let's click on next now it is asking me to enter the number on the mobile phone now you need to approve the notification that you can see on your mobile so on the mobile you would be able to see an option to enter the code so you need to enter the code 26 over there to continue you need to click on yes button okay it is approved now notification approved you can see over here so that means security enhancement is done now the sspr registration process is going to start now i need to enter the phone number over here okay i have entered the phone number now it is going to send me a text code i need to authenticate with that also this is two of two method as you can see over here to secure my account click on next that's going to give me the verification code i'm going to enter that click on next after entering the verification code your phone was registered successfully so that means my phone is ready for the password reset authentication etc second authentication process now click on next to continue success as you can see over here good job you have successfully set up the security info choose done to continue okay i'm going to click on done button over here and that's it now it is asking me to sign in again okay that's fine now let's go over here and try this again password reset okay i'm going to enter the username and then enter this character from the image okay click on next it is asking me to enter the registered phone number i'm going to enter that this is the pre-authentication and it is going to send me a text to verify the verification code has arrived i'm going to enter that now okay that is the verification code and then i need to click on next button over here now you have an option to enter the new password the password reset is done now it's not done 
but you got an option to reset the password so i'm going to reset the password it says strong password so that's good that means password check has been completed with the cloud service after checking online it confirmed that the password is strong and valid now i can click on finish to complete the reset password process going to click on finish and as you can see password has been reset once you have registered then for 180 days it is fine after 180 days again you need to go through this process or authenticate and confirm who you are so this is the portal over here you would be able to see reset password success self-service reset flow activated that is also success all these are success and bonus tip now i'm going to change the authentication methods available for the user list i have removed mobile phone and i have added mobile app code and i'm going to save this so what this is going to do is basically if i go back to user experience portal it is not going to ask me for the code from the mobile sms or something okay click on next enter the verification code from app that would be authenticator app i am checking authenticator app on my mobile 407907 click on next that means you don't need sms if you can use microsoft authenticator app if you have enabled that option on the policy over here instead of mobile phone now that you have seen all the details about sspr that is azure ad self-service password reset service and core services related to that and you have seen the end user experience admin experience etc and don't forget to check out the description of the video to get more details and urls for all these components hope this was helpful Thank you all for watching. See you around.